Anyone? Do we have any single Muslim who dare to call us? The topic is laughable prophecies of Prophet Muhammad. And this is the challenge. Show me one prophecy, Muhammad, he said it is not a joke and we will not laugh at. Who can do that? Show me just one. Allah mean God. Sam Shaman he said that. Well, this is his understanding. Then if he said that, I don't I don't think he would say such a thing. However, Middle East and Christian today, they are using it as a word mean God. Yes, this is true. They've been forced to use that word for centuries. So this is what maybe he's talking about. But Allah is two words, Al and La. And La is the God. Any Muhammadan? This is why if we go in the Quran, you will find in your Quran the answer actually, just to show you how ignorant you are. If you go in the first chapter in the Quran, the first one, chapter one, verse number one and verse number two, you will find the answer for all the questions. Bismillahi rahmani rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Shayateen. Look with me here. I don't know if you know Arabic or not, but mostly you are not. You don't know. Do you find the difference between Allah in the first verse and the second satanic verse? There's a difference, right? Did you ask yourself why? Let me zoom in. Just wait, Abdul. Just wait. This is the name of your God. Here we have Aleph. Here we don't have Aleph. Do you know why? What happened? If the name of your God is Allah, the second sentence saying, Alhamdulillah. Li. La. Where is Allah? Li in Arabic means two. La is the name of your God. Are you there? Can you explain to me how in chapter two, verse number two, sorry, the verse became Li La? Dude, dude, I'm showing you, dude. Dude, Li. La, tell me how La became the name of your God. We got it, we got it. Dude, dude, dude. If the word attached to Ilah become like, okay, no problem. It says here, Alhamdulillah, not Ilah. Alhamdu to who? Li, La. Who is La? Who's La? Dude, dude, the word attached to Ilah become La like a, 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 a. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how priceless the Muslims is. Get ready, I will take selfie for you. All right. Dude, dude, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Dude, 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 dude. Hey, Dudi, let me put your statement on the screen so we can laugh together. Hmm. This is your statement. Read carefully, people. If the word is attached to Ilah, it becomes La. What? What? If the word attached to Ilah, it becomes, you just said attached to Ilah, you, you, do you, are, are you drunk? It says if the word is attached, is attached, 
became lah. It's already attached, you idiot. And Abdullah, you idiot, it's not one word. Here we go, let me write for you, Abdullah. You are a stupid idiot who do not know anything in Arabic. Here we go. I will type for you in the screen, Abdullah. This is Abd, oh, typing in English. This is Abd, Allah. Where it became one, you idiot. Idiot. Who taught you Arabic? Or maybe the poor you trying to make it look like Abdullah, one word in English. Get out of here, you idiot. So, Allah name, when you say Bismillah, you idiot, here we go. This is Bismillah in the front of you. I mean, do you see the stupid people? You just say it, here we go, in the front of your eyes. You said Bismillah. I'm using your words. Bismillah look like this in Arabic? No. <laughs> Let me show you in the Quran, idiot. It's in the Quran in front of you. It is two separated words. This is Bism. And this is Allah. So you idiot when you say, like the word Bismillah. And you connect it. This is in your stupid English. You are trying to make it, make it fit in English. This is not reality. Like the word Bismillah. Ruhullah. Ruhullah. Ruhullah is two words. Ruh and Allah, idiot. Ah, look what I told, I typed, Zuhullah. <coughs> what is the letter Ruh? Here we go. Ruhullah, do you see it? Is it, is it as you are writing it down for, for us in English? It's not, it's two words. And the word Allah appearing in full with the letter A in the beginning. Ah, how this is how it was revealed to Muhammad is different. What different? It's in the front of you, you idiot. What different? It's in the front of you. You know, the problem in the city I am in, they don't allow me to grow those kind of uh, people in my yard. Otherwise, my yard will be like, man, a lot of people will come. But they don't allow us to grow them. However, we learn from you that you Muslims don't have name for your God. Oh, what you know that you worship a God, thank you very much. Because you just say that Allah is not a name, is a word mean God. So what is the name of your God? You don't know. Right? Who's your God? You say God. This is what you are saying to me. Allah is just a word mean God. Okay, who's your God? God. <laughs> Idiot. Find me one Muslim he even knew what he's talking about. And by the way, the word in Arabic, Bism, is false. There is in Arabic language there is no such a word bism. This is a corruption for the Arabic language. The word bism is not exist in Arabic. They change it only in certain locations like in the chapter of Al Fatiha to make it easier to recite the Quran. And here you notice the Muslim they say we did not take one word from the Quran. So who is the one who took the letter Alif? from the word bism because in Arabic there's nothing it's called bism it is bism and the proof I can show it to you from the Quran if we go in the Quran let us clean the screen in the yellow page of Muhammad Mickey Mouse book this is how the word is written in Arabic do you see it? This is the correct writing for the word. It mentioned in the Quran many times. 
Do you see how it's written? Bism, not bism. Uh, Mahdi, uh, at least get me someone who knows Arabic. You don't know Arabic and you are trying to uh, go. I'm done with you. Which one of them is correct? Bism or bism? Bism. And look how many times mentioned in the Quran, Bism with Alif. You see the difference? They took off this letter to make it easier to recite the Quran because it's very stupid. Bismillah. So what? Bismillah. See the difference? That make it way nicer. So they corrupt the book of their God just for the sake of abling to sing the words. This is the correct way of writing the word BSM. B is in, yeah. B, you know, if you. Let us do this here. Arabic language, it might be difficult a little bit, but if you learn how to do the, let's say, uh, if you memorize the letters, how you write them, and then how you connect them, it's very easy. So the first letter is B. B is not even really, I mean, uh, I mean, if you go in the roots, maybe I should not talk, go there. This is complicated for many. But B by itself, B, is, is something you do like opening something or a statement about to say it belongs to what. So B ism. The second you add the Aleph, the Aleph connected to the B, then the Aleph cannot be connected to a letter after it because that will make a letter L. So right away when you type in the board, it's going to separate them, see? B, A, A, there's Aleph, S, and this is a letter C, and then the letter Mim, B, S, M. This is the correct Arabic word. And by the way, this is not even Arabic, this is coming from the Aramaic. And I believe strongly that all the Quran never was in Arabic. Arabic, there's no language actually exists, it's called Arabic, as much as the uh, mixed language of Aramaic and other languages exist in the that territory. Ethiopian words, Greek words, uh, uh, Persian words, but the majority is Aramaic. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me live on air if I open my scalp? Let me try. Maybe there is somebody trying, you never know. Let us give them an opportunity.